Good day everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating to you how to install an offline MIT app inventor platform. Okay, so we could still work on it even without an internet connection. So as we have discussed before in grid computing, we have to download installers for us to have any user working in our computers. So I already have here the installers. So all you have to do later is to download it from my shared drive folder. Okay, so I have here two packages, one for 32-bit operating system and one for 64-bit operating system. So for you to know which one to download, check first your OS specification, whether it's 32 or 64-bit. So my computer is a 64-bit operating system. So... I used these installers. Okay, we have here three. So what you have to install first is our Java platform. Okay, because without this one, we are not able to complete the installation of the app inventor offline. Okay, so this may take two to three minutes depending on your or on how fast your computer is okay then after installing installing this one next to install is the ai2 in starter so this will just take about a few minutes i mean a few seconds like 20 to 30 seconds then after that next to install is to the is the app inventor ultimate 2 okay um, this will also take for about 20 to 30 seconds only. Okay, and upon the installation process of these two, the AI2 Starter and the App Inventor Ultimate, okay, you will be asked there later if you want to have a shortcut icon in your desktop. Okay, so if you choose this one or if you choose that one, then after the installation, you can see Okay, this shortcut icons here. Okay, for easy access. But what if, okay, uh, you forgot or you did not click on that option. So where will you uh, see the installed apps? Okay, just go to your Windows Explorer here. And you can see here, or you may just search, okay, App Inventor 2 is Starter and then App Inventor 2 Ultimate. Okay, but for easier access than the shortcut icons, okay, you can see it here naman agad. So I have here the App Inventor 2 folder and the App Inventor 2 Ultimate folder. So the first thing to do is go to App Inventor 2 is Starter, then run AI2 is Starter as an administrator so to do that right click and then choose more and choose run as administrator so there will be a popped up message here asking you to allow the application to make changes on your device just click yes okay then minimize the cmd prompt and then next thing to do is open the App Inventor Ultimate folder and choose App Inventor 2 Server. Okay, just click that and there will be a 2 CMD prompt here. Just minimize it. Okay. And after that, we have to open a browser. So I have here... A Microsoft Edge browser but if you have a Google Chrome browser then it will also be okay and then we have to input on the address bar localhost colon four eights and press enter then we will be redirected on the welcome page okay so we don't have a credential that was registered okay in the offline app inventor okay but that's okay 
what we have to do is click this one click here to use your google account to log in but i will show you later how to create your own account for the op offline app inventor okay because that will be useful especially when you are using an offline app inventor platform in a computer laboratory so you will use our units there soon okay for you to keep your file safe okay from copying like that so you have to have your own account so i will show you that later for now just click for this one click here to use your google account to log in and then we have here a default email okay it's okay to leave it like that or if you want to erase it then you may just what's important for now is to click or to check this one sign in as administrator then log in okay so what we can see on the online platform okay will be seen also here in the offline version okay so we don't have any project yet and for this video let me first introduce how we could create our own account for the offline app inventor so just go to the admin tab here and then choose user admin and then uh, for us to see what accounts okay are already registered just click search okay so we have here the first one the one we used okay for the start we have here the test at example.com okay and then i al already created one so i have here the sample account okay um but to show you how did i create my account here just click on add user and then input your preferred credentials so since i used sample here let me use sample one for the second sample account okay sample one and for the password sample one also okay and then click admin and press ok and then for us to have an update whether um, the account was registered or not just refresh it by clicking the search button here okay so as you can see there is already the third account registered which is the sample one okay so let's try to use that Okay, so we have to sign out first the account that was logged in. Okay, so now we are able to input a registered credential here. Okay, on email and password text box. Okay, so let's use sample1. And then for the password, it's also sample1. Let's just check sample1. Okay, then log in okay then you have to accept here the terms of their service okay and here it is you are now going to work a project on your own account okay so this will be uh, very good for your files to be safe okay or to avoid an access for the unauthorized users okay so that's it for this video for the next video i will be having a review of the environment of offline app inventor so thank you so much for listening and i hope that you've learned from this video god bless everyone